Hello there. Weather story across Europe pretty much stuck in repeat mode at the moment. If we take a look at the pressure chart, still that area of high pressure across Scandinavia. We've had above average temperatures here for a few days and we've had some stormy weather through the Mediterranean. Some of the showers really quite intense indeed. And that's going to be the pattern as we go into the early half of the weekend. So if we take a look out to the east of the Mediterranean, we've got showers in Turkey over into mainland Greece, a slight lull in proceedings across the Balkans as those showers ease through the early half of the week. A few scattered showers across the Alps, through the French Riviera and also into Spain and Portugal. There's more heavy rain to come across Spain over the next few days. Warm across France, up into Germany and look at Oslo, 26 degrees once again as a high. Now, if we take a look at Tuesday's weather in a little more detail, we'll see some showers uh, developing to longer spells of rain across northern Spain, across the Pyrenees and into the French Riviera. We're going to see this little load developing here and that is going to bring some very heavy rainfall potentially over the next couple of days to come. You can actually see that in the city forecast, some pretty intense showers to Barcelona. That will ease away from Thursday onwards, whilst London and Paris see above average temperatures and plenty of sunshine to come. We keep that heat as well into Scandinavia. Showers easing away in split, but then they will return from Thursday. Hello there. Let's take a look at what's happening in North America. There's plenty to talk about at the moment. We've got an area of low pressure that's moving its way across the Mississippi Valley up into the Ohio Valley. And as it pushes further east, it will introduce some heavy rain that will hopefully help to improve the air quality that we've been talking about just recently. So by Monday, we've got rain from Vermont all the way down into the Carolinas. Sharp showers through Texas, also across the Rockies over towards the Sierra Nevada mountains as well. So let's take a look at the West Coast in a little more detail. It's quite interesting actually because we've got above average temperatures across northern parts um, of Canada and that will continue for the next few days. Dry and sunny into northern California and then a little bit cooler and disappointing into southern California. Some cloud as well from time to time. And you can actually see this in the city forecast. So Calgary will have highs of 82 degrees but Los Angeles only around 20 which is 68 degrees. Now, across that east coast then, as you can see, there's the heavier rain, the brighter greens denoting the intensity of that rainfall as it starts to drift its way steadily eastwards. Behind it, a few scattered showers, not amounting to too much, but it will hopefully help to improve some of the um, visibility and air pollution that we've been talking about just recently. Here's our city forecast then to come through Monday and Tuesday. Hello there. The weather story hasn't changed that much in South America in comparison to recent days. We're still looking at some particularly heavy showers across Venezuela, Colombia and also down into Ecuador. And this weather front here, a rather slow moving affair, producing some very heavy rainfall. That's going to impact once again across parts of southern Brazil and into Paraguay. It's also the dividing line still between this very uh, high temperatures to the north of it and much cooler temperatures further south. So those showers are set to continue as you can see quite clearly some of them quite widespread obviously across the Amazon basin stretching down through Paraguay and into southern Brazil so further south of that largely fine and quiet but look at the temperatures in Argentina only 12 degrees in Buenos Aires so we'll continue to see some showers for Caracas a little bit of drizzly rain and then some rain on Thursday into Rio de Janeiro. Now for Mexico, it's largely fine and quiet at the moment. Got a few sharper showers into Central America. Some fairly widespread showers across Cuba, also up through the Bahamas from a slow moving weather front at the moment. We've un we understand that that's brought a little bit of localized flooding at times and those showers will continue slowly fading away as the week goes on. So here's our city forecast. As you can see, Mexico sees the best of the sunshine. No showers expected until Friday. Hello there. Heat builds across the Middle East, as you'd expect at this time of year. More on that in just a moment, but starting off in Africa, this weather front here in South Africa will turn quite showery in terms of rainfall, but it will start to bring quite a dramatic feel to the weather as it gets noticeably cooler than of late. We've also got some rain across West Africa stretching towards the Gulf of Guinea, and at the same time, we could see some pretty intense showers developing across the far northwest of Africa, in particular through Algeria and Tunisia. 
easier as an area of low pressure develops through the Mediterranean. So that is generally the story. And we, if we take a look at the city forecast, you can see that quite significantly. Look at the temperatures in Cape Town, only into the mid-teens, and it stays quite showery as we go throughout the week. By contrast, further north, it remains hot, dry and sunny. Temperatures back up into the high 30s for Cairo as we go through the latter stages of the week. For the Middle East, it's all about the heat at the moment. There's not that much in the way of weather. A few scattered showers across the Caucasus, a little bit more of a breeze through the Gulf, but generally it's fine and settled. Temperatures, as you can see in Doha, 46 degrees. So it's starting to get pretty oppressive, the heat at this time of year. And there is little signs of any significant change as we go through the week. It stays hot, dry and sunny with light winds. Take care. Hello there. Plenty to talk about with the weather story across South Asia, as you'd expect at this time of year. Let's start off with the satellite picture and a bit of joy expected to develop to a severe cyclonic storm um, over the next few days. Then it will weaken off and then by the middle part of the week expected to reach landfall somewhere around Gujarat towards Pakistan. So we'll need to keep you updated on that one. Monsoon rains were slow arriving. They're there. Showery in nature across Tamil Nadu and that Kerala coastline at the moment. And at the same time, we've got extreme heat up into the far north and east, as you'd expect, and heat warnings remain in force. It's pretty hot across Central Asia as well at the moment. And despite a few scattered showers, it is going to remain hot over the next few days to come. Similar stories as well across Pakistan. There, as you can see, is Bipajoy just off the coastline here. So some rough seas already in the early half of the week and some plenty of sharp showers a little bit further south. And then as we move further north and east, it's all about the heat. Yes, there will be some showers into Bangladesh, but that extreme heat really quite severe now. So let's take a look at the city forecast. You can see how it remains pretty showery over the next few days to come. We keep the heat across Central Asia as well, as you can see with temperatures in Kazakhstan around the 30 degrees, but the extreme heat in the northeast of India. Hello there. Let's take a look at the satellite picture across uh, Asia at the moment. Plenty to talk about. Heavy rain continues to be an issue across Myanmar. It's pretty wet generally through northern Thailand. Drier across Vietnam. We've got some heavy rain through Hainan and western Luzon as well at the moment. And this is still the remnants of Gochal. It is not going to make direct impact with Japan, but it will intensify some of the rainfall activity over the next few days. It's largely fine and quiet with a few scattered showers across China. We have seen some heavy rain through southern China at the moment, slowly easing. But as you can see, across Hainan and western Luzon, we are seeing some heavy rain here as well. So city forecasts show quite an unsettled week ahead across uh, Tokyo. Shanghai stays largely fine and dry and pretty warm with it as well. Now let's take a look at Australia. It's quite quiet at the moment, as you can see. We've got a series of weather fronts that have moved through Western Australia across the Bight, and they're going to continue to bring some showery outbreaks of rain across South Australia over the next couple of days. Now New Zealand is largely fine and quiet. Temperatures are a little bit below par for the time of year, but not a bad start to the week, and it turns a little bit more showery as we look ahead. So our city forecasts show this. Adelaide will see those showers gradually easing. Auckland more showers by next weekend.